hey guys hope you're well welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to talk about the petite body shape when i talk about petite i don't mean in terms of your weight how big or small petite just is someone who falls under the bracket of five foot tall and shorter so it has to do with height and this kind of ladies petite ladies tend to struggle with clothes especially because when they walk into a shop they sell regular sized clothes so you find uh, pants are usually way longer their hemlines are longer they have to adjust uh, when it comes to clothes even a regular size 10 to a petite size 10 lady will seem bigger and more bulky on them they look like they're wearing their mom's clothes or their big sister's clothes when it comes to jackets the sleeves are long they are drowning in their clothes so that's the struggles that petite ladies tend to have another struggle is when you're petite and you can be you're a bit voluminous you find for example you could be a size 16 in terms of your hips in terms of your bum but when it comes to the length it gets it tends to be very long because they make an assumption that someone who's a size 16 is tall so the struggle petite ladies tend to come across and today i'm going to show you uh, or talk about tips that can help you to dress yourself and that doesn't make uh, buying clothes a struggle or looking good a struggle because you can tend to give up and you find most petite ladies will then prefer to thrift or will just prefer to just not focus on how they look because it causes them too much stress tip number one find shops that have a petite section i'll mention some of them that i buy for my clients because i've experienced two three maybe five petite clients since i started so shops like hobbs talk a petite session debenhams next i'm talking about shops that are in the uk in kenya for me i just advise you to thrift so focus on stores that do have a petite section then you're able to get clothes that fit you well so you don't find the issue of the clothes don't sit well on you and you can't exactly pay what it is it's because they're not tailored for a petite body type so find shops that stock petite clothes or have a petite section For a petite lady, they are really trying to create balance. They are trying to appear taller. They are trying to appear longer. So don't cut yourself in the middle. Because what is going to happen then, you're cutting yourself in the wrong place. And I'm able to see how short you are. For example, when I mean create balance is if I'm wearing a loose top, I make sure I'm wearing tight clothing down. Maybe I'll wear a pencil skirt or I'll wear skinny jeans. So that I create that illusion of a longer torso. For example, if I want to wear a baggy skirt, an A-line skirt, ensure then that you're Top on top is fitted and tight so that then that a-line skirt creates an illusion of longer legs so for a petite lady creating balance is very very important when I mention about dresses and skirts when it comes to a petite body avoid wearing mid-length skirts mid-length dresses it's either it's above your knees or it's in your on your thighs so if you do mid-length skirts or mid-length dresses your legs appear shorter so what happens if I play around with my proportion to create the balance if I play around with my with my clothes my eye is able to focus on what you want to lengthen for example like I said if you're wearing a longer top you're lengthening your torso so it it lies to my eyes and gives me the illusion that you're taller so for a petite body type ensure to create the illusion of balance that's what we're trying to do we're trying to balance you out and that's why you find petite ladies when they wear high-waist jeans and a crop top they look very nice because the high-waist jeans shows that creates the illusion of longer legs my third point is if you can if you're comfortable with showing skin what i mean ensure that you can have skin brace skin brace can be like i said a crop top a skin break can be if you want to wear let's say it's summer and you want to wear dresses dresses that show legs that fall on your thighs do help to create the illusion of length if you're wearing jeans ensure to show a bit of skin like let it be ankle length so that it shows skin and so it makes you appear longer and also so that i can see your shoes so for example if you're petite and you wear jeans that come all the way down and then you wear shoes i'm not able to to, to see your legs and so that creates the shortens your legs so ensure that you show skin it could be here on your tummy if you're comfortable it could be your ankles it could be your thighs if you're showing us leg if you have nice legs so for a petite body type what does what that does it lengthens you up it could lengthen your, you down if it has to do with pants it could lengthen your torso if it has to do with a top
when it comes to necklines uh, ensure to wear plunging necklines that could be the scoop round neckline or the v neckline what that does it decreases the length of your neck and it makes you your torso appear longer so anything that is v anything that is scoop really flatters the petite lady because it increases the length of your neck and the length of your torso and you appear longer up. so that is in terms of necklines when i'm talking about petite ladies remember we have different body shapes so we can have a petite pair a petite inverted triangle we can have a petite rectangle so as i'm giving you this tip also remember to be able to understand your body shape for example your petite and you have a heavy bust so that deep v plunging neckline what will it do it will lengthen your neckline making your torso look longer but it should also make your bust look smaller Another tip is when it comes to colors, I find, especially for me with the clients I've dealt with with petite body types, is neutral colors look very nice on them. Solid colors. I'm not saying that they cannot experiment with prints, but if they do ensure your prints are very small, very small and dainty, very tiny prints, not big prints because they're going to overwhelm your body. You know, you don't want to have a petite lady with a dress with the massive massive prints because then it's very overwhelming and it drowns their body shape so you can play around with colors ensure they are solid colors neutral colors work very well with petite body types prints make them small and dainty nothing too big nothing overwhelming the small petite body frame Another tip for a petite body, a petite lady is accessories. Stay away from very, very big bags. Small, medium bags do work well. Have you ever seen a petite lady with a very big bag? They look like they can fit into that bag. So stick to small and medium bags. I know sometimes you have a petite lady who's a mom and they need to carry all these things for the baby. You could have your own smaller bag inside. So if you need to like maybe go to the bathroom, you just remove that small bag. So small to medium bags. When it comes to accessories, avoid very chunky chunky accessories just think about of a petite lady and they have a very short torso and then you have a very big chunky necklace then you see what it does it makes your torso appear shorter so try to keep your accessories from small to medium accessories means bag accessories means watches accessories means jewelry belts uh, for a petite body shape for example if you're petite and you wear a very big belt a very fat belt on your waist then you're shortening your torso so accessories applies across board meaning hats bags jewelry belts that's what i mean by accessories don't make them too bulky when it comes to also shoes don't wear very bulky shoes you know shoes that are too big i know bulky shoes are in fashion i know there are those big chunky sneakers and chunky boots for petite body type it just it just overwhelms you and it drowns you Another tip for a petite lady is wearing one color top to bottom. For example, if you wear a nice black dress that hits you on your thighs and then to even complete it is to match them with black heels. So that's one color from top to bottom. So when I look at you eye level from top to bottom, it elongates you, it makes you look taller. You don't necessarily have to do it in a dress. For example, you wear high waist black pants. It would be really nice if you complement them with black heels, especially when you wear short dresses or short skirts to the soles of your feet. For any petite lady, nude shoes that are pointed, when I mean nude is a nude that matches your skin tone, are very complementary to your body shape. So every petite lady should definitely have a pair of nude shoes that are pointed that, comp that matches their skin tone. When it comes to blazers for a petite body type, avoid blazers that come or jackets that come below your knees. You know, I know people like boyfriend blazers when it comes to trench coat, you want them very, very long. For petite body type, if it's, for example, trench coats, ensure they don't go below your knees. Yeah, because then that makes you very, it makes you appear very short. When it comes to blazers, try not to make them very long, too baggy. That's why I would recommend for petite body types to have blazers that have padding. Because what does it do? It creates a bit of volume on top, especially if you're a petite lady with 
a small bus, try to to get blazers with uh, padding so that the blazers don't drown you and they look too baggy. And some trends, for for example, like the baggy blazers, the street style, the very baggy clothes for a petite body type doesn't look very nice. They look better in clothes that are more tailored, uh, more fitted to their body shape. And that's why in the beginning I talked about balance. Ensure not to have clothes that are too baggy. So when it comes to blazers, if you don't have a big bust, make sure that they are padded. And even if you do have a big bust and you don't want padded blazer so that you don't look too big up, ensure that they fit you very well. So fitted clothes are key for a petite body type. For petite ladies, ensure to find a good affordable tailor who understands your body type, who understands your height and who understands your issues so they're able to tailor for you clothes. Because sometimes you do find clothes do fit you very well around the hips, around your waist, but you might have to adjust the length. So investing in a good tailor is very import important and someone who's not too expensive because then again, you don't want to invest in a piece of clothing that is already costly and then now you have to pay the tailor a lot of money. So investing in a good tailor is very important. Another tip for our petite body types is ensure that you tuck in your tops. It could be a full tuck in, which is very nice if you do, do not have a tummy and if you do not have a very wide waist or a very wide torso, you could do full tuck, half tuck, side tuck. But for petite booty types, tucking in is very important. If you do have some stomach and you want to hide, then do just a front tuck, meaning it's not too tight and it's hiding a bit of your flaws. But tucking in is very important. Oversized shirts, oversized tops, oversized uh, jackets make you too bulky. And again, like I said, if you're doing an oversized sweater, if you want that oversized sweater look, ensure that you have skinny jeans or very fitted pants so that to create that balance. Another tip for petite ladies, if you find jeans that fit very, very well and they are long, what you could do, you could you could cuff the hems, where you fold the hems and then you stitch. So that means it will just end above the ankle. Again, it will show your legs that will be able to see your shoes and it's very chic and elegant. So ensure that if your jeans are long, you can cuff them if they fit very well. Another point when it comes to buying jeans, for petite ladies, when you go to the store, as much as you want high-waisted jeans, ensure that they are not too high. Because if they come too high up, then your torso will be too short. And sometimes when you go to the regular section and you find their mid-rise, for a petite lady, that mid-rise is actually high waist. So ensure that you understand those dynamics and that when you're going to buy jeans, ensure you focus on mid-rise. Mid-rise for regular equals high-rise for a petite person but if you go to the to a shop and they have a petite section and they have jeans then high-waisted jeans will be high-waisted for you also don't wear jeans that are too long i've seen that petite ladies do struggle and i've also struggled the same with my petite clients with bootleg pants especially if they're too long because the thing is they are very very long and even when they wear them you cannot see their shoes and if they wear bootleg pants they have to wear high high heels high stilettos Something else that works very well with uh, petite ladies is the bodysuit tops because those tops don't ride up. So what happens for petite ladies when they tuck in their shirt, it tends to ride up as they walk, as they move. So bodysuit tops really tend to hold, give them that slim silhouette. And for me, if you can do a body, a bodysuit that has, doesn't show the the cut, like a panty line cut, that is a plus. So ensure that it doesn't show that, but bodies would do work very well with petite ladies, and when they tuck in, it doesn't rise up. My last point is for any petite lady, if you could practice wearing heels, wedges, please do because high heel shoes look very nice on you, especially when you wear them with short skirts, when you wear them with ankle length jeans, ankle length pants, also when you wear them with short dresses, if you can walk with heels, especially the pointed heels which make you appear longer and slimmer, please try and practice them. But if you can't again, ensure that your shoes do have a small heel to give you that height and to create the illusion of length. But if you don't mind your height, once in a while it's good to wear sneakers for comfort and sometimes just to complete the look. I know there are also sneakers that do have a bit of a sole, but ensure that they're not too bulky so that doesn't drown you.
we've come to the end of the video i hope that those have been helpful tips for any petite lady outside there i'd also like to hear from you those are the challenges i face with some of my clients i know personally i cannot even begin to understand a petite lady's struggle when it comes to clothes and looking good like i said i've had a few clients i've known how to circumvent them by finding shop that stock petite uh, ladies clothes but also sometimes like i said a good tailor does help and just understanding your body you could be petite petite has everything to do with height five feet four and below but it could be petite and plus size it could be petite and have an apple shape you could be petite and be pear you could be petite and an hourglass you could be petite and rectangle so ensure that you also understand your body shape as you understand how to dress your shorter frame so petite has everything to do with height i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any tips anything any petite la lady the outside has struggled with please ensure to comment so that everyone else also learns from your experiences and as always ensure to like subscribe and share until the next video guys keep safe and god bless